Hello, so tribe friends and family. This is going to be an all signs message today. So you could be any zodiac sign. Feel free to just take in a deep breath and connect with your inner source to see if this message may be for you. And as always, if you would like a personal reading, one on one personal session, or Akashic records, you can go to 144bluerosetemple.com. Email me to use the coupon code I am ready for 33% off the entire website. So that's all personal readings, even the retreat to Puerto Rico and anything else that's on there through the Lionsgate portal. And thank you for all of your love, for all of your support. Now, we do have on the bottom of the deck already, Persephone, new beginning. So Persephone may resonate with you. I'm getting a lot of the energy of like the Greek gods, divine mother and father, Holy Spirit of God. What do we have for the collective? We do have end of a cycle. What do we have for the collective today, for their highest good and for the highest good of all? Okay, life force energy on the bottom of the deck. We have believe in yourself, sensitivity, and expand your consciousness. Okay, some of you may resonate with the Greek gods. We do have King Neptune, Inanna Ishtar, which is more Mesopotamia. I am getting a little bit of the Aphrodite energy. You're someone who is very sensitive to energy. You may even have like extrasensory perception. And so because we do have this, right? Believe in yourself. So I'm getting a little bit of shyness, but what's also coming through is just more of like, when you put yourself out there, you feel everyone, you feel everything. Like you are someone who, you're very galactic. Like your spiritual gifts are out of this world is like what's coming through. So you may even be like a Blu-ray star seed. That's what I'm seeing too. Lumerian, Arcturian. I'm also seeing dolphins, which you know, dolphins are very telepathic it's been hard for you and i almost want to say like it's been hard for you here like on earth okay but that's because you your spiritual gifts are so strong you are out of this world you are here to anchor new earth codes um for the future for the world for the earth so you're someone that you actually feel more comfortable in spirituality than maybe like in the material world and realm like you kind of go out you go back in kind of energy why believe in yourself sensitivity and expand your consciousness Yes, you're very sensitive to energy. Uh, I do feel like you're someone who has to cleanse often. We have energy field adjustment and solitude. Okay, like you really are someone who you go out and you go right back in. You know, it's like uh, you don't go out into public or crowds too often. It's interesting. I'm even seeing like raves. Like, you know, like those raves, or like say Burning Man, things like that. I actually don't feel like you're that kind of person that's like going to go out and do those things because it's like you go home and you end up cleansing for a whole day kind of thing, you know? Um, so you're someone who you actually like to spend time alone because uh, what's coming through is it feels safe for you. So I do feel like you are improving your energetic boundaries so that, you know, and not that you're not as sensitive because I don't feel like that's going to change. That's actually your gift. But that, so those other energies or outward energies don't really impact you. Uh, you know, but you are someone who you your cleansing methods what's coming through is like you could actually help a lot of people that like yes you're sensitive and so you don't really put yourself out there too much but with your wisdom of this stuff you know you could actually could really help people with cleansing their energy because you've mastered cleansing your own but you're definitely not someone who likes to be out in the crowd because it's like you come home and you feel everyone's energies that were around you okay why do we have time out energy field adjustment sensitivity expand your consciousness and believe in yourself what else do we have for this reading light beings portals subtle energies okay mountains can resonate with you as well and some of you may really connect with like the land you know and uh, i'm seeing like mount shasta i've actually been watching like uh videos like about mount everest so maybe that means something to you as well uh, decisions meetings future plans you are going to meet people where it's like you don't have to like constantly cleanse yourself when you come home which again like you're just someone who's very open to energy uh, i'm even picking up on some scorpio energy so maybe you have scorpio in your chart you do have the meditation peace relief and sanctuary yeah you feel right at home when you're more in the spiritual realm you know like when you're meditating when you're with nature that's when you feel at home uh it's almost like avatar the movie avatar where it's like if they step foot like they can't breathe 
again you're just someone who like it's in your dna it's in your cell your cells your dna that you're very very galactic and you do have a lot of galactic and celestial stellar wisdom like you were someone who like truly was just born out of the stars and and reincarnated here on earth okay i do feel like you're someone who also remembers a lot of those past lives i'm gonna grab one more message you know so it's like yes you are here in this earth which may feel dense for you because that's what i'm seeing this avatar and them not like being able to breathe that air but you are here to anchor these codes anchor the codes of the future what's coming through too is uh you came here you reincarnated to teach others about this stellar celestial galactic wisdom and like that's what your soul chose to do and so you're not you know out there in the crowd too much and some people may perceive you as like shy or standoffish but it's not that you're shy and standoffish you just feel everything you know um ascension new moon we do have durga what else do we have for pisces spirit baby and reiki is coming out again okay so maybe some of you even have the gift of like spirit babies and picking up on them uh, you may even have a rainbow baby in this lifetime. We do also have Reiki. Okay, so a spiritual gift of yours is that ability to see, to hear, to know, and Reiki, where I feel like you can um, really, and I'm seeing like even extracting things out of people, helping to heal them on such a beautiful level. All right, now I'm going to grab some cards of advice. What do we have for advice for the collective? For believe in yourself, sensitivity, expand your consciousness mountain lights the meditation time out and energy field adjustment yeah you have been hurt and betrayed a lot is what's coming through with the ten of swords energy um you're going to hold on to something and i feel like it's a lot of more your energy let's see what this is why ten of swords for this reading for the collective temperance you're such a beautiful soul it's like i see your higher self i see your soul beyond the human and the, the avatar and the hologram and you're so beautiful but it's like you some part of you feels like you were not meant for this world and it's because you're not you're out of this world you are galactic you know maybe you resonate with the lumerians arcturians all of that you're here to bring peace and balance to this world but to remember who you are What's coming through is also ego integration of just like knowing who you are like you are who you are and it's in a, in a humble way and it's actually going to help protect you from situations where you get hurt like this uh knowing that your love is one of a kind and this reading kind of makes me want to cry you have nine of pentacles over here your love is one of a kind but your love is god's love your love is like source love some of you maybe have had a near-death experience um the love of god so many people talk about it whether they've been talking about it for five years 10 years 50 years guru not a guru the love of god is silent it is it makes you speechless and you have a love within your heart and your soul that is meant to be shared but not a lot of people say in this realm are maybe ready for and so that's why it's using the because the chariot actually represents ego this is someone who has their ego integrated and moves forward knowing who they are so what's coming through is like yes you are of service you are a sovereign light being you are humble but the ego is necessary to know of like okay i know that this situation is going to end up this way i know this person can't love in the way that i love so having that discernment is necessary uh, and it will actually help to protect you. Why the chariot card? Three of swords. And why the four of coins here? Yeah, you are really protecting yourself at this time, okay? I do see some sort of situation here where there is a need for you to trust and to believe in yourself. There is definitely some sort of Ten of Swords situation where it feels like you came into someone's life to like kind of harmonize and bring peace and balance. It ended up in a Ten of Swords situation. 
Now you do have the five of wands as well with the four of coins. And it's like, I feel like you showed up in someone's life and then it's almost like you have to run. Okay, it's like they gave you some sort of negative projection. What is the collective's energy in this reading? Could be two people. You have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, White, King of Wands, and King of Swords. I do feel like you're moving forward into something new over here. Nine of Wands, Two of Wands. It may even be two masculines energy here. So maybe you're masculine, it's another masculine energy. Um, this is someone who it's like, you showed up with love, but the reaction was like, out of this world too you know like uh you are moving forward into something new you're putting your back away from the other person here all right now what is this five of wands and four of coins what is this five of wands and four of coins there's someone here that it's like try to attack you financially okay and that's why it has the four of coins here where it's like you show up with love but it's actually like in a point of like it's projection like they don't even believe you kind of thing you know this situation is definitely asking you to expand your consciousness no weapon formed against you shall prosper you know um believe in yourself i do feel like this is someone who's like trying to extort you in some way shape or form they're trying to affect you financially but it was actually from a situation of you trying to extend out your hand of love and they were like shark like trying to take you out kind of thing okay uh page of wands with the five of coins they're really trying to attack you in some way shape or form for some of you it's specifically financially why page of wands with the five of coins why page of wands with the five of coins all right this may be a gemini energy they may have gemini in their chart what's coming through is it could also be a lover okay knight of swords with the lover's card over here You're being very protected, Seven of Wands, from this Gemini. We do have King of Swords here, so it could be a Gemini energy, or it's a previous lover of yours. You're being very protected from them because they're trying to attack you financially, but meanwhile, you're showing up pure. But let me tell you, and that's why maybe that, again, when I talked about the ego, it's just necessary. You know, maybe you did move forward in love, but to the point where it's like they stepped all over you kind of thing. What is this Three of Swords here with the Chariot? this person is like trying to instill some sort of fear onto you and again it may be like more they're threatening you financially material world some way shape or form we're gonna see what that says over here now we do have the wheel of fortune here so i do feel like the wheel is turning for you the queen of wands was on the top of the deck of what fell now what is the connection between the collective and this person? Could be family or a marriage, okay? Ten of cups over here. Family or marriage. What is the relationship between the collective and this person? Or you share family together. Okay, this person, again, it's like you're showing up pure. Some sort of karmic soul contract with this person of um, where they want to attack you financially. What's in this Knight of Cups? You're getting ready to see something you've never seen. All right. Uh, but you are, you showed up pure. And that's the thing. This is like a hard karmic lesson over here. We are in the year of Saturn. We're in Saturn retrograde. You showed up with divine love. You just wanted to bring balance. But this person is just like, they they see their own shadow reflection 144 they're like no this that like they will do anything to try to destroy you no weapon formed against you shall prosper so they're trying to leave you dry they're trying to affect you financially the divine is bringing in an ace of cups for you okay your cup is going to overflow now what is the outcome of this situation you do have the devil card king of pentacles could be dealing with a capricorn why the devil and the king of pentacles there's a need for you to have boundaries in this situation because it does feel like this person is trying to affect you financially. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, so there's a need, and that's what's coming through, is there's a need for you, Two of Swords here, to have the ego integrated. 
where it's just like well i'm very protected you know like no there's a part of you that needs to like no this is not okay i'm not taking this and to protect yourself um yes like leave it up to god but this is also a situation where you do need to put some sort of boundaries up of protection um and this is actually teaching you and your masculine energy to stand firm in your own masculine energy okay why the queen of swords in reverse yeah because this person's trying to trap you and there's a need for you to take forward action you know there's always a time and a place but for some of you that are watching this is the time and the place okay why eight of swords and seven of swords what is this judgment i do feel like this is something from the past okay so something from the past is coming back around you have eight of wands judgment two of swords six of cups for some of you this has to do with the child or childhood why two of swords with the six of cups you're shifting your perspective okay and this, this definitely has to do with a child or something about childhood over here that's coming back around. Something that you didn't see, something that you didn't know. Why the hanged man over here? Ace of Wands. I do feel like you are receiving divine insight from that of which you don't know. That can really help you in the situation. Now, you know, and I'm, like, I'm seeing you again. We started off with like, wow, you're a beautiful soul. You're very energetically sensitive, etc., this is actually a time where spirit's asking you to have boundaries, to have the ego integrated, and to not always play Mr. or Miss Nice Guy, because this person truly wants to hurt you in some way, shape, or form. For some of you, they want to hurt you financially, and now is not the time to play, again, Mr. or Miss Nice Guy. That is also love. You know, and some people won't think that, but love is also of like, no, I'm not taking this, and that's self-love. You know, this is a time that it's not a time to sacrifice yourself for the better good or the higher good. This is a time to love yourself and to say, no, I'm not doing this, you know, or I'm not accepting this because this person really does and is doing what, whatever they can to try to stop you, to try to hurt you financially specifically. All right, so now is the time to say no in every time, space, and dimension, okay? Three of wands and then four of swords. So definitely have your prayers up. I do feel like allowing some distance between you and this person. But this is a type of situation that, like, yes, you leave it up to God. But in this situation, this is actually a soul contract of we want to see this collective stand up for themselves. Um, yeah, that's what's coming through. Okay. So let's see what advice we have. What advice do we have for this situation for the collective? Reflections, which you contemplate, can actualize. And Coral's Wisdom, works that are created over great periods of time, okay? So I do feel like it's applying wisdom in this situation. Um, and you do have reflections, which you contemplate can actualize. So remain with a positive mindset when it comes to the situation. I do feel like they're trying to instill a lot of fear into you. And we do have keep going. So keep going here. Does they believe in yourself as well? What else do we have for this situation? no more hiding this is asking you to own your power and again a lot of people especially light workers will like well no like i'm gonna leave it up to god or this is actually not something to transmute this is something where it's like especially for some of you who are thinking about like a return to sender kind of thing this is not something for you to like okay well i'm gonna love and like transmute it no you need to block it and, and as soon as i say that i get a message okay you need to block it of like i am not accepting this at all and that's actually a soul contract for you you know um and for them as well because it does feel like past life type of energy isis sacred contracts and it's either like well i allow them to do this and we go through this again or you know i i do feel like you're meant to say no in this in all time spaces and dimensions when it comes to this person um don't try to save this person from their karma is what's coming through for some of you you may like again you're a beautiful soul you're someone who's also very delicate very soft and there's a part of you that's like well and i think this is more unconscious that you don't want this person to get some sort of karma or it's almost like you're trying to protect them from some sort of karma they need to go through what they need to go through and if you don't stand up for yourself you're taking on their karma for them 
which is what they want. Now we do have Mother Mary emotional healing, so Isis or Mother Mary may resonate with you. Um, there's definitely some sort of healing from this situation. What's a final message for the collective? Yes, you have extrasensory perception because we do have the extrasensory perception card. It quite literally says it, changing consciousness, awareness, extrasensory perception. Okay, and then revelation, teaching, discovery. Some of you may be realizing of like, oh, wow, I really do have extrasensory perception. You know, oh, my, you know, my sensitivity is my superpower. And you do have revelation, teaching, discovery. So I do feel like the situation is teaching you. Unfortunately, I don't feel like it's as much of a love and light message of just like, well, everything's gonna like be okay. Like toxic positivity kind of thing where it's like, no, you, you have to say no. You have to set energetic boundaries, spiritual boundaries. You're not supposed to accept anything that this person is doing, which may be hard for you. Cause again, you're showing up to be a very sensitive person. This is a situation that's asking you to be that emperor energy. And let me tell you, the emperor only gets off his throne to protect it if it's needed. Not like for any other reason other than when it's needed. And this is a situation where you're not supposed to transmute or accept any of this energy. Okay, believe in yourself. That's what I have for you, collective. I do hope that it resonates. I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings to your day.